وأعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والصلاة والسلام على سيد المرسلين وعلى آله وأصحابه وبارك وسلم. Welcome back to our lecture series seven to major series taught by Allah Ta'ala in his book Kitab al Kabair. So today's topic is major series number eight. It is about interest, riba, al riba. So what Islam says about it and what Quran and Allah Subhanahu Wa mentioned in Quran and what the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam told about us, told, told about uh, interest. In Ahadith, let's move towards that. Allah Subhanahu Wa says in Quran and Majid, Ya yu al-ladhina amalu la ta'akulu riba ita'afam muda'afa wa ta'ku Allah la'allakum tuklimun O you who believe, do not consume usury. Usury means interest. Double or multiplied or in extra form and fear Allah so that you may be successful. In another verse, Allah Almighty says in Quran and Majid, بِأَنَّهُمْ قَالُوا إِنَّمَا الْبَيْعُ مِسْدُ الْرِبَا It means that uh, the kuffar and mushrikeen of Makkah, they used to say that there is no difference between uh, bay and uh, riba. There is no difference between trade and interest. Trade is similar as interest. And interest is similar as trade. So, they used to say like that. But Islam says, the Quran says no. Trade, ahad Allah The trade is permissible in the Islam, but the interest is haram in the Islam. That the translation of this verse is that that is because they said trade is only like interest. While Allah has permitted trade, ahad Allah riba. But but has forbidden usury. Usury means interest. The Allah Subhanahu wa Taala has forbidden interest. And Allah SWT has permitted trading system. The trade that what we uh, do in our society, the business that what we do in our society, in a bare form, it is allowed in the Islam, but whereas the interest, haram in the Islam. Now let's move toward Ahadith and Ababiyya. What Ahadith says that with regards to uh, interest, what, ha what, what about if someone take interest? It's completely haram. Of course, it's haram. It's considered as in major sin, major, major sin. So, Now, Prophet ﷺ, he's taught four major sins. And in that, one of them is taking interest. Allah SWT even not enter them into paradise and Allah SWT will not even allow them to smell the fragrance and the smell of paradise not allow them to even smell the Jannah four of them the in, 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 in that one of them is uh, taking entrance so just imagine the how it's very bad deed in the Islam so it's completely haram to take interest so with this few words, I would like to include my small message here only. For more details, please go through Quran, Sunnah, and the books of a scholar of Ahl Sunnah Wa Thank you very much for Ma'alina.